Moving on is the ability to cultivate habits that free you up so that you're not thinking about them every day, but in ways that are actually connected with your deepest intrinsic values-based desires. So for example, if I come home and I automatically spend time on the cell phone and don't connect with my child, that might be a habit that I've gotten into that's disconnected with the way that I actually want to parent. So what I might do is I might make a new habit, something that I call piggybacking. I come home from work and I automatically put my keys into a particular drawer in my house. And what I start doing is I start piggybacking on that pre-existing habit by putting my cell phone into the same drawer. What I've done in that context is I've started to create a habit that is very connected with how I want to be, to be more present with my child, but that I don't need to think about. In order to cultivate the habit of moving on effectively, of harnessing emotional agility, it can be really helpful to think of habits of mind or habits of action that you engage in every day and that ultimately are not aligned with how you want to live. It could be that you choose to put your keys along with your mobile phone in the drawer so that you are more present at dinner time. Or it could be the way you bring yourself to a particular interaction at work. It will be different for different people. But the idea here is to think about habits that might not be serving you and how those could be shifted in ways that are more connected with what you value.